Like many people in the Dunkern constituency of Belfast, for George Blackburn, this election boils down to one thing, the economy. I'm working over the shipyard, and I look down south, I just don't see the same kind of jobs available. I've nothing against the people down there, but they just don't seem to have the same industrial spirit. I mean, where are your Harland Wolves or your Davisons down south? The place will be going down to Swanee. We're just trying to protect people's jobs, people's livelihoods. The people of Dunkern have the opportunity to vote directly for the man they believe will protect their future. Edward Carson, the leader of the Unionist Party, the so-called uncrowned King of Ulster, a man in fact born and bred in Dublin city. Here in number four Harcourt Street, Edward Carson was born into a wealthy Anglican family. He went on to study in Wesley College and Trinity. From his high profile legal career, Carson moved into politics and was quickly elected MP for Dublin University, where he has held a seat since 1892. His association with Ulster has emerged in more recent years, particularly when he led opposition to Asquith's Home Rule Bill, pledging to resist it by all means necessary. Carson's Ulster persona. The man's from Dublin. He's a southerner. What are you talking about? His people's from Scotland. The same as mine. In fact, the same as most of the people up here. I don't care where he's from. We need good people on our team. I feel British and Irish. So why can't we just be the same? A United Kingdom. They're talking about this parliament in Dublin. How are they going to raise tax revenue? Who's going to run the schools and the hospitals? The Catholic Church? Please. Never work. The irony is that Carson's determination to stand up for Ulster may have already backfired. He was behind the Ulster Volunteers and the Larne gun running, which in turn led to the establishment and arming of the Irish Volunteers down here. Without Edward, there's no Volunteers. Without Volunteers, there's no Easter Rising. There's no... Sinn Féin wave, ergo no prospect of a Republican Parliament. There isn't going to be any Parliament in Dublin. It's not going to happen. I have family in Mayo who can't even vote Unionist down there. It's Sinn Féin or home rulers all over the South. This thing's already lost. Someone's got to stand up for Ulster. If it takes protection, so be it. But I'm telling you here and now, I'll not be ruled by Rome. Much has been made of how the newly enfranchised electorate could sweep Sinn Féin into power, but here in Belfast and Cairn, a young and defiant electorate has other ideas. For Edward Carson, delivering on his promise to the Protestant people of Ulster may mean splitting a country that is already divided. Ulster expects. Will Ulster defect? Today's election will bring us closer to an answer. <laughs>